According to what I've heard, the world is round. But is that really true? Earth might have the shape of rock candy. Like that spiky lump of sugar your grandma would wrap in a tissue. But I don't really know for sure. It's not like I've actually seen the shape of the Earth. In the same way, I've never actually seen most things that are considered common knowledge. Common knowledge and what we take for granted. We base our lives around such uncertain things. Well, not that it matters for me. I mean, my world isn't even big enough to worry about stuff like the shape of the Earth or common knowledge. In fact, it's pretty small. So small that it's actually a little funny. This is my world. This two-bedroom apartment that I live in is my world. My life doesn't extend beyond these walls. But it's not like I'm a shut-in or anything. I am actually imprisoned inside this room. My name is Komaru Nayegi. I'm a completely normal high school girl who lives an abnormal daily life. how well humans can adapt. I've learned that firsthand through this imprisonment. But it's not like I've completely given up, of course. If I had, I wouldn't do things like change my uniform every morning. I just don't want to get my hopes up too much. Because through this imprisonment, I've learned too much about the horrifying despair that always follows hope. Imprisonment. Unfortunately, even I, the victim, have no clue whatsoever. Ever since I've been taken by strange people into this strange place, I wanted Japanese style this morning. Receiving meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is the only communication I have with the outside. I haven't seen the culprit's face or even heard their voice. I still don't even know why I'm imprisoned here. But regardless of how abnormal and unfair the situation is, this is my world and my daily life now, so it can't be helped. See? Sucks, right? My story ended before it even began. It's not like I still have hope that something sudden will happen after all this time. <laughs>
Here's the elevator! Why is there a fire? I can't get through! Must be Komaru Nayagi. Future Foundation, 14th Division, Byakuya Togami. Uh, um. Don't get the wrong idea and start crying. I'm not the one who. Actually, I'm here to. Future Foundation received intel that a captive was imprisoned somewhere. Future Foundation? It would appear that intel was correct. What is the meaning of this? What are all these vermin monokumas? Monokuma? No matter how you look at it, the timing is just too per- Just as we show up, a riot breaks out. A riot? Perhaps the intel itself was a trap to lure us here. Uh, um... What, what do you mean, riot? What's going on in that black and white bear thing back there? What was that? What's going on? So you don't even know Monokuma? That kind of ignorance must- He was just like that the first time I met- Him? You really don't know anything, do you? But it will have to wait. Now's no time for talk. There's no end to them! Bring it on! More of them! What should I do? Should. Do you really have an option other than run? <laughs> it's a hacking gun developed by Future Foundation. It shoots program codes with electromagnetic waves. It appears to be effective against these monokumas. Though you should have discerned that from the test shot. Read the operation instructions included with the gun. You're on your own from here. What? What do you mean? You can run, can't you? I'm busy now. Now that I've seen these annoying bears, I can't just leave them be. Run, but where would I go? A member of Future Foundation is on standby at the restaurant across the street. <gasps> Hurry up and go! You're just in the way here!
welcome. A table for one? Huh? Bear attack! A bear? Bears! Bears everywhere! Miss, now please! Oh, the military! Paramedics! Hurry! If we don't hurry! Miss, please keep your voice down. You're disturbing the other customers. Who cares about that? Hurry! All right, fine. Please, uh, just be quiet, me, okay? One order of... Relax and stay calm. Ugh. I'm hungry. Hello? Police? Some suspicious girl is... <laughs> Amazing! 